and this is our robot in two, three days build, about. In total, it was 24 hours between the course of three days, mostly spent on the first two. And here's our proud creation, Frankendroid. The reason why we call it Frankendroid is because a lot of these subsystems come from previously built and proven subsystems. For example, these, uh, we call them elbows, these right here, come from, or are basically designed based off of Icarus, which is our competition robot for Roborakis. This chassis right here is from a previous chassis design for Roborakis as well. It used to be called Minimac. Now we just like added stuff on it and made it Frank and Droid. So, uh, first thing to point out is the gripper design here for the blocks. Now originally we wanted to make this as few motors and servos as possible. And we came up with this design that only uses one servo to open and close this wheel. The robot is now on, so we can actually move stuff. So we put these on we put this on a motor on our well not a motor, yes. So we could so we could bring it up like this so whenever we needed a stack higher. And we also have an extender on it. This was taken off of oh well, for Robot Ruckus, we had two robots, which no one really knows about this, but we actually have two robots. After regionals, we built an entirely new robot, and this comes from the old one. These are the slides that we use. It's two stages. And for the gripper, so we have a block right here. I turn to it, drop it, and then press Y to close the servo. And that has good grip on it. You can get bumped into, it won't fall off. That's why we use wheels. They have amazing grip. As for stacking, we originally wanted to do some sort of uh, gravity thing where this would be able to pivot and it would also it would always be down here at right here because of gravity. That's actually one of our previous design for grippers, which is this one right here where no matter where you're holding it from, it's still going to be parallel or yeah, parallel to the ground. But it was just too big for us and we, we were running out of time to figure out how to fix that. So, for stacking, since we won't be parallel to the bricks that are already there, we have to, we have to do something else. Once we get lined up right there, once we're pretty good there, just release it, fix it until it's good, <laughs> and there we go. So I worked on this, I believe, uh, Saturday, uh, just after the competition started. Uh, we made a rack and pinion based design where we took a box and put a rack and pinion inside it to make a parallel gripper. Originally, um, we were going to do straight, uh, straight grippers on this, but it provided not enough friction to hold the block steadily, so we decided against it. Uh, it does fully function. Might you show that it can do? Uh, the grip on it. It's not as good, obviously. Uh, that could be solved if we were to uh, use this in the future, but it is quite bulky and would require a like an actual full drive motor instead of a servo. It's a parallel gripper. Um, the idea was to have a, a gripper that would uh, grip parallel. Um, so, yes. Such as either this or this, depending on how we wanted to uh, place the object. Um, doesn't really work that great now. I uh, we're talking about the gravity thing. So the basic point of this thing is we have these, which are all taken from our Rover Ruckus robot for our intake. Now we're using for intake in blocks. The point of this was to have these two servos driving them. So it would, it would spin this into grip. And it has pretty good grip without even the servos holding it. Just like as I said before, this, just, this is just way too big to fit on here. Which is why we just decided against it. In the future, if we ever find some more compact design, we may consider this again. One of the neat features that we have on our gripper here is that it can recover blocks like this. So simply grab it from the edge, grip down on it, and go backwards. 
super easy. It takes just a few seconds. Once we have that done, we just grab it like usual. It should be pretty easy. <laughs> there we go. Come over the foundation. <laughs> now it's our second. It's just an easy drop onto where you need it to be. For nine easy payments of 199. <laughs> so the flow is currently in progress. We can't tap all of the things set up right now, so I'm going to put this myself. Quick. Easy. No problems whatsoever. <laughs> I mean, there never are. Right yeah. Now. You can show off that fix the tip over again. Easy. Now the certain someone can get out of the way. I can. All right. So you're supposed to go on the stacks. Again, just super easy. Just drop it. Fix it as you need to. And there we go. Now, the last thing we want to show off is this foundation hook we have, so that I can lift this up. Just got to ram into that, that foundation, and it's ours. Heck yeah, look at this autonomous. Stay in the light, stay in the light, stay in the just take it like that. Yeah. Drive straight into him. Drive straight in. No, we're in the same team. <laughs> Get back in here. Get back in here. Yeah. Stop. Go forward. Go forward. Quick. Stand. Stand. Get him to the cooler. <laughs> grab, them, grab those blocks and hurt them over to this side. Okay,